Well, in just a minute, we'll look at the new Macintosh PowerBook Portable and the first affordable color laptop. Don't go away. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That is the anthem of the computer industry. Here to show us the newest and much talked about Macintosh portable is Wayne Wesley from Apple. And also with us to show us a color notebook computer is Brett Berg of AST. Let's turn to the, note, the power books first, Wayne. And, and we all saw the Mac portable when it first came out a couple of years ago, and there were a couple of problems. It wasn't quite what everybody wanted it to be, mm -hmm. I guess. What were the problems you were addressing in the new power book series? First of all, we wanted to uh, make all these products notebook products, so get them down in the size Smaller, and weight, right. and still contain or still um, have all products have the Macintosh advantage, mm -hmm. still run the system software, as well as having some of the networking and communication um, um, right. capabilities. And you got three versions of the PowerBook. Right. Huh? Right, we have the Macintosh Portable, uh, Macintosh PowerBook 100, mm -hmm. uh, the most affordable Macintosh PowerBook. It's also the lightest at 5.1 pounds. Okay, and affordable at what price? What's the bottom end? Uh, the, the bottom end is $22.99 okay. for the base configuration. Then here, the PowerBook 140, a little bit more performance than the PowerBook 100, has an internal floppy drive, mm -hmm. weighs 6.8 pounds. Okay. Base configuration is $28.99 for the price. Right. And this and, is the top of the line? And then the top of the line, the high performance Macintosh PowerBook 170, it also weighs 6.8 pounds, mm -hmm. has an internal uh, floppy drive, features a uh, active matrix display, which is the premier yeah. display technology available. In the All right, it's got a kind of interesting layout here. Talk through the logic behind this design. Right, we spent a lot of time with uh, existing Macintosh portable customers as well as notebook buyers wanting to get a good ergonomic design. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done is we've put the keyboard to the back of the unit, uh, placed the trackball here in the center, which left this area which we call a palm wrist. Uh -huh. So a user can come in, put their hands here or their palms here on this space and then type very comfortably. You'll notice that I'm typing here, this is a good ergonomic position, uh -huh. my wrist is straight. And when you go so. to use the trackball? Then I use the trackball, I can control it here with my, with my thumb, uh -huh. use the, uh, my other thumb to control the mouse button, or I can drop down here and use either my middle finger or my index finger mm -hmm. and then use this mount bu mouse button as well. So a lot of flexibility there. All right, what, what, what do you have on there? What can you show us in using this PowerBook? Great, book? so all of these um, PowerBooks run Macintosh system software 7.0, our uh -huh, latest version. Right. So all the desktops, uh, all the applications you run on your desktop, you can run here as well. Um, I have, a, that I'll bring up here on the screen, a um, persuasion document. And again, I can just easily control um, and select text uh, quite easily with this PowerBook. Let me also... Um, highlight another key advantage that we have and that's in the area of networking. Uh -huh. All three products have networking built in so what that does is allows me to access my desktop computer a file server or a printer quite easily and let me do that here. What I have is I have a standard phone cable connected from my PowerBook 100 to my PowerBook mm -hmm. 170 and so with this icon that I have I just double click type in the password and I'm using Macintosh file sharing, which is a standard part of mm -hmm. System 7.0. Here I have all the uh, contents of my PowerBook 100, the hard disk, available to me on the 170. Uh -huh. I could also use that with a right. Macintosh desktop computer, a DOS desktop mm -hmm. computer, a lot of capabilities there. And what's the price of the high end on the 170, Wayne? The price of the high end is uh, $45.99. Okay. Um, so we're also bundling AppleTalk Remote Access, which is, uh, gives you networking capabilities yeah. when you're on the road.